Check this out. I have my. Hello? Hello? I'm. We're just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Testing, one, two, three. Oh, behold, Frankie fixed it. Yeah. Let's hear it for Tech Theater. Without Tech Theater, that, <clears throat> throw, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Don't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, Tech Theater. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brett Crow. I need the light back. Uh, hang on. Yeah! Oh, there we go. I got a better idea. <laughs> now it looks like theater, right? How are we doing? Quick check, cheer if you're here. Now cheer if you're not here. One, one. There is always one guy in every... What? I'm definitely not here. That's the voice in my head, everyone. Sometimes it'll chime in. Other times I just threaten to stab it with a Q-tip. Excellent! That's Brett. He has a keyboard. Without him, we wouldn't have a pre-show, but we get to put up with this keyboard. And I'm Russ, I'm your host, how are you? Yeah. Wait, wait, everybody in the count of three, say your name so I don't get confused. One, two, three. Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah, that was really weird. Shout if your name's John. Yeah. That is statistically jacked up, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on, cheer for the Johns! Yeah. Okay, let's, let's make sure, let's split down the middle and make sure. Okay, this side, cheer check. <laughs> I found the disaffected section. Let's try this side. They're good. One more, one more quick check. We are ready to go. I can see that. For those of you who are new here, I do see we have some new faces in the crowd. Welcome to the weirdest thing you can possibly do on a Monday night. Um, it, it's sort of what happens when the, when the inmates are given their own asylum to run. Uh, it's, an, it's an experimental theater project. Uh, I don't know how to describe it and I run the thing. We've been doing it for about four and a half years though and it seems to have something of a cult following you crazy poor fools. Thank you for coming. You will also notice that some of us, other than this, which of course is perfectly normal, actually more often I'm lounging around the house like this. The only difference really is the hat. My neighbors hate the fact that I wear the microphone all the time. Yeah. But uh, you'll notice that some of, our, some of our audience is dressed a little um, out of time, shall we say. I, a quick shout out to them. These are members of the Scarborough Fair Performing Company who have joined us after finishing a triumphant run out at Scarborough Fair. I like to think of them because because Scarborough Fairs in Waxahachie, I like to think of them as our friends to the south. Because Waxahachie is south. Which is weird considering how you're dressed. So weird. Not come down here and let them see what you see. That just said that. Yeah. 
Take a look. That's, that's, that's a good example. Everybody, this is Vadim. Vadim, this is everyone and their wallets. And there's. You, you, we brought your friends to keep you in line. You can, you can, you can go. We're good. We're good. Where do I go? Uh, where you, you, there's a chair for you right there. right there. Yeah, right there where we can keep an eye on you. I get to sit in the chair? It's a big night. That's fantastic. I know. <laughs> it's a big night for him. Gypsy it's, I know, it's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Focus. It's a skill. You breathe, you continue. Many different walks of life, as you can see, are represented in this room. I have, I have long since abandoned the premise of saying, I've seen it all here on Monday nights, because every time I do, someone like him walks in and proves to me I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It's, it's this weird cultural nexus where every type of creativity, every type of performance, everybody ends up here doing, I'm going to say something, because that seems safe, something amazing and mental. I, it's sort of like a crossroads for creative types, which unfortunately in American folklore means crossroads are usually represented as a place where you meet the devil. I see him right here. <laughs> I'm standing right here. How do you think I feel? And I stand here at the crossroads every week. <laughs> Between you and me, we're in the wrong line of business. You and me against the world, Russ. You and me against... <laughs> Come here. Come here. You know what I'm thinking? Shh. Ah. Really? Yeah. Shh. But do we have a hamster for that? <laughs> you and I shush very differently. Go over there. Don't put the... See what I have to work with around here? <laughs> Crazy gypsy people. And so, it's sort of a crossroads where you might meet the devil. My inner voice chimes in now. I almost make a point, my inner voice chimes in. You, have, you want something to add about the devil? You two should meet. Voices in my head, Vadim. Vadim, voices in my head. This is so grand in tears. <laughs> the crossroads is where you meet the devil, where creatives meet the devil. You think about this. You know, Robert Johnson, blues musician, sat out there playing his, Brett, don't take this personally, playing his instrument. <laughs> till the devil. This was a really nice story about the devil. Didn't go with it. Excuse me. Go sit over by the demon. Be quiet. Fine. The demon, go over, sit, sit over there by him and be quiet. I showed them. <laughs> Used to be a nice show. Where was I? <laughs> the devil, right? In the details. And, and, and maybe, and, and made me do this. <laughs> Maybe, perhaps. No, it's, uh, crossroads are interesting. We, it's where we meet um, strange people. You're new here, aren't you? I can walk right off the front of the stage. Nobody cares. It's okay. I just like the look of horror on her face when I did it. Uh, we, have all, we have all manner of people who come to Crossroads, and I've always, I always hear about that. They go and they sell their soul to the devil for skill or for power, or for whatever they get. I don't know what the deal is you get at a Crossroad if you're a clown. I guess, you know, not scaring children, perhaps. You sell your soul for that. Uh, but you, you get something. And I always think, if I had to, the legend goes that Robert Johnson sat there playing his guitar, again, no offense, uh, night after night after night, until the devil showed up. 
and he asked for great amounts of skill playing the guitar, and all I could think was, if I'm anywhere stuck, the guitarists are chuckling themselves, I'm stuck with my instrument anywhere for any length of time, what am I going to do? I'm going to practice, and the whole thing is crap! But you have to be somewhere where people get it, otherwise it doesn't work. The whole thing, the whole thing is based on a room full of people who get it. The devil shows up and he's actually probably got a record deal for you, which you shouldn't take, you should go independent like us. <laughs> Hello, internet! I just said that. Suck it. Where was I? I don't actually write anymore because they'll just keep me on point. If I ramble, it's fine. They don't mind. Do they? Yes. Who said yes? You have a point. You have eight of them. I can only count five. I'll wrap this up so we can move on. So, the point being, you have to be at a crossroads. I'd like to pretend we're all on the same journey. I, I would, I like, I, except for you. You and I should never be on the same road together. That would be terrible. You and I, man, maybe if, maybe. <laughs> I've gotten off point again, haven't I? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> the point is, we are here tonight together, and we get to see where people are on their journeys, and I think that's very exciting. There's only a few places in the world you can do that, and one of them is right here at the open stage. Welcome.